The biggest event of WrestleMania week may be an interview. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is Just Pro Wrestling News for Saturday, April 3rd, 2021. A big welcome to those of you listening on WrestleMap.com. If you want to bring our updates to your website, email us, desk, at JustProWrestlingNews.com. Well, this feels bigger than any forbidden door. AEW's Chris Jericho will be the next guest on Steve Austin's Broken Skull Sessions on the WWE Network. That episode will premiere on April 11th, reportedly after night two of WrestleMania. Austin told SI.com, the interview came together over a few simple text messages between him and Jericho. Austin said he texted the idea to Vince McMahon and got his okay. Sports Illustrated reports Jericho got the blessing of AEW President Tony Khan. And just like that, the deal was done. Viewers who tune in to Peacock for night one of TakeOver next Wednesday will get the show commercial free. It's also being shown on the USA Network. Triple H revealed that detail during a media call on Friday. This reminder, Sunday is the last day for the original WWE Network in the United States. That is when Peacock will become the exclusive home of the network in the U.S. On last night's SmackDown, YouTuber Logan Paul appeared in the flesh with Sami Zayn. Paul agreed to appear at WrestleMania, where Zayn has a one-on-one -on -one match against Kevin Owens. Zayn showed the trailer for his documentary. After that, Paul seemed to side with Owens. That's when KO snuck in and hit a stunner on Sami. Later, Zayn got the jump on Owens backstage. Daniel Bryan stood tall at the end of last night's show. He submitted Jey Uso to win the main event street fight. Then, Bryan attacked and laid out Edge, who was on commentary for the match. And then, Bryan went up the ramp and took down the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Apollo Crews challenged Intercontinental Champion, Big E, to a Nigerian drum fight when they meet for their title match at WrestleMania. Natalya scored a flash pin on Shayna Baszler. There was a post-match brawl involving Baszler and Nia Jax, Natalya and Tamina, The Riot Squad, Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke, and Naomi and Lana. Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode teamed up with Chad Gable and Otis to beat Ray and Dominic Mysterio and the Street Profits. Otis pinned Montez Ford. Those four teams will meet in a fatal four-way for Ziggler and Rude's tag titles on next Friday's SmackDown WrestleMania special. Also last night, Bianca Belair pinned Carmella with the KOD. A new match was announced for Monday's Raw. Drew McIntyre will face King Corbin. A surprising announcement Friday from a big name on the U.S. independent scene, Faye Jackson. In a statement tweeted Friday, Jackson said she is, quote, stepping away from wrestling for good, end quote. She said she dislocated her elbow during a match last Sunday. As a result, she had to pull out of her Mania Week bookings, including the Gray Sweatpants Battle Royal. Laredo Kid is once again the AAA Cruiserweight Champion, but that's news to Leo Rush, who tweeted Friday he thought he was still the champ. Rush beat Laredo Kid for the belt in a match that aired on MLW Fusion weeks ago. There was never a rematch. Leo described the situation as, quote, messy as hell, end quote. New Japan Pro Wrestling. A big reveal on last night's New Japan Strong, a new title belt, the Strong Openweight Championship. And it's going to be awarded to the winner of the U.S. version of the New Japan Cup tournament, which begins next week. In last night's main event, filthy Tom Lawler, Chris Dickinson, and J.R. Kratos beat Brody King and the Regal Twins. After the match, Lawler implored Dickinson to break Sterling Regal's arm. Dickinson declined. So Kratos gave it a shot, and if you believe commentary, he may have succeeded. New Japan's Sakura Genesis show is coming up on Sunday. The main event has Kota Ibushi defending the new IWGP World Heavyweight Championship for the first time. He'll be challenged by New Japan Cup winner Will Ospreay. Ospreay's cohorts in the United Empire will unveil a new member of the faction on Sunday. The mystery man will team up with Great Khan and Jeff Cobb to face Tatsuya Naito, Sonata, and Shingo Takagi. There's one other title match on Sunday's card, Rapungi 3K, challenges for the junior tag titles, held by El Desperado and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. That's just pro wrestling news for Saturday, April 3rd. Our next update comes your way Monday morning. Enjoy your weekend, and please rate, review, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. 
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.